All right, guys, time to get things started with the Act 8.2 boss, Hawk Bahamut, I believe that's his name. And I got to admit, I was really nervous. And I want to remind everyone, this fight was done on the content creator beta, so it could be different now with 8.2 going live. So take that and think about that. But I don't think there were any nodes on this fight. I got to admit, I was a lot of bit nervous doing this fight. But overall, once I figured out the fight, it really wasn't that bad. And I got to give it to Kabam. This was kind of a fun fight. Like, I practiced with a few champions. And of course, my girl Valkyrie was my top choice because I just took her to rank five. But on the content creator beta, she is not rank five. So this is a rank four Valkyrie going up against uh, Hawk Bahamut. So overall i do think the fight went really well for me i do make some mistakes and it does kind of cost me but not too much nothing i couldn't recover from so right now we're currently in, still in the first phase and i believe in the first phase um it's, he has from anywhere from 100 percent health to 80 percent health um that is the first phase and yeah, that's what you really got to do. There are certain mechanics, and I'm not really going to go into detail because, again, Kabam could have changed it. So with 8.2 being live right now, he might be a little different, and you might have to fight him differently. But on the content creator beta, when we have access to it, it was really fun. I had such a great time with it. There are a lot of interesting interactions, and you may see me do some weird things here. But that's because that's how you have to do the fight. And just like with any other boss in act eight or act seven there he does have different phases and in this particular fight he has four phases but it could be more could be less who knows but each phase is different and it's not an overall complicated fight like um sky talus 8.1 boss or um i don't know 7.4 kang or the champion He's not a complicated fight. Again, this is not noted. It could be complicated now. It wasn't complicated on the content creator beta. So that's all I would, can say. And overall, I had a good time with this fight. I had a really, really good time. Like I like the animations. I like the champion designs. I wish we could actually have this uh, character on our main accounts to actually practice with. And I wish Kabam would actually make this a playable champion, but I highly doubt that would happen. But oh well. And as you can see, I'm doing really well. And in this particular fight, I guess he does watch or he, he goes unstoppable in this particular fight on the beta. So, of course, my best counter, in my opinion, was what's her name? Valkyrie, because he counts, unstoppable means nothing to her. And there's going to be a part in the, this phase and I think in phase three where she does absolutely absurd damage. It's it's insane. I think it's 200 K damage into the block. Now, I didn't hit into his block a lot in this fight, only on certain phases because he plays really, really aggressive. And that's really good for Valkyrie because I can intercept him easily. So right here, I think I'm gonna hit into his block. Oh, I didn't do it. I sure did it right there. But as you can see, I'm still doing like 73K crits. So like once he's in his like so-called wounded stage, you do some crazy damage. But imagine the damage you're gonna do. And I'm gonna make, I make sure I put it in this uh, video that when she doesn't, when he's wounded and he hits into her block, it's insane damage. Like it's crazy. He does have a lot of health. He does have a 410k PI, as you can already see, and it's not that bad. He doesn't, maybe my Valkyrie is just tanky, but he doesn't really, when he does hit me, it isn't that bad, in my opinion. So, from here, let's see if I can hit him to his block. I'm going to do my uh, heavy, reflect the beam back to him, and hopefully he allows me to hit him to his block. Perfect. Look at that, 200k. We're already basically in the third stage. Like, goodness gracious. Like, oh man. Phase three, let's uh, let's go ahead and go on. That's uh, absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. And the great thing is I do it again. I get to do it again. The hardest phase for me was phase four. That was the longest phase. The first three phases weren't that bad. I knew what I was doing. The interaction to get him um, weak work wasn't that bad. It's phase four where it gets complicated, where you have to do a certain action. And I just wasn't good at doing the action. So it cost me it was literally the longest part of the fight and i do apologize for it but it's definitely worth it 
but right here the first three phases have an easy interaction this wasn't that bad at all and boom we're back we're ba uh, almost back to it we gotta get his um volition charges i believe what it is yeah bo uh volition volatility i don't know what it's called i'm sorry don't don't play me too hard in the comments but yeah his volatility charges i had to get some of those had to build them up to a certain amount and again could be different in, uh while when 8.2 is actually live on everyone's account but in the beta it was a little bit different so all we needed was three and i should be able to get him in the wounded stage and i'm gonna try to do some damage into his block if he blocks for me and he doesn't really want to block so i'm, I'm holding it right now i think we're going to get him there up oh, he did he wasn't he wasn't letting me block <laughs> well he wasn't blocking he plays so aggressively so it's definitely difficult but it we do right there some damage 25k 50k crit i'm not mad at that not mad at that at all it's not actually a bad ramp up either when you're doing the fight the fight isn't that bad to ramp up to get him to play into you so i wasn't complaining complaining once like once i get into the uh into the fight and practice it more i think phase four will go easier for me and especially since I'm going 100%, it. I don't know when I'm going 100%, it, but don't worry, it's probably going to be in the next couple, couple couple of weeks, in my opinion. And right there, I make a mistake. I just made a mistake. I knew what I was doing. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to what I needed to be paying attention to, and, and as you can see, it didn't cost me all that much. So we're good. We are good. So all I gotta do is get uh, ramp them up one more time, get one more volatility charge. I, I really don't know if I'm saying that right. I really just do not know if I'm saying that right. Just gotta get one more and we should be good to go. Oh man, I'm so I'm so happy with this fight. I think I like this fight more than the Sky Talus boss. Only because um, when the Sky Talus boss came out, I didn't practice the fight. I literally just went in day one blind and had a ball with it. But this time I felt like I owed my chats um, a solo because um, I told I was going to solo Superior Kang and I didn't solo Superior Kang. So this is my gift to the community. I got solo day one, made sure I recorded it, and made sure it was on the channel for all to see. And bam, right there, we're in phase four. This phase was difficult for me. And the reason it was difficult, there is a beam he shoots at you, and you gotta reflect it back to him, and then he'll reflect it back to you, and then you gotta reflect it back to him. And it just kept catching me off guard because I couldn't figure out how to time it, because it's a definitely a different interaction. Now, right here, I do it right the first time. Like, watch this. I do it right. Everything's going good. Boom. Hit him. We're good. Now, when every time after that, I do horrible. <laughs> I don't do it. And this is why it takes so long to finish the fight because I just wasn't that good. And our damage is really reduced throughout the whole fight. And there's particular things you have to do to ramp up your damage. And in phase four, I wasn't able to do those things accurately. So I actually had to rely on hitting through the block because apparently that wasn't nerfed or wasn't um, reduced by his abilities and his kit or nodes. Again, I don't remember any nodes being on this fight in the CCP beta, but I'm sure there's gonna be nodes in when it actually does go live. So remember guys, I know I keep saying this, this fight could be different when the uh, when 8.2 goes live. So keep, keep that in mind, but we're getting him down slowly but surely, and I can't seem, I just cannot time hit uh, the beam to reflect it back to him. I just can't do it. I just, I'm just not good at it. And when I do decide to go into 8.2, I'm probably going to do an issue clear today. You've probably seen this video a day after I post this or a day I'll be posting this. And I'll probably be going in there today. I highly doubt I'll get the solo. I'm going to try to get the solo, but I highly doubt I'm going to get the solo because phase four is definitely difficult i just hope to get him down to phase four if i can just do the fight with um spending maybe one or less revive see right there i don't know what i did wrong but i couldn't reflect it being back but yeah if i can do it with just one possibly two revives i'll be happy with that i already got a solo this is the solo video so my chat can't flame me too hard you know i got the solo it ain't pretty like everyone else's but it's a solo nonetheless so i'll take that and in this particular fight on the CCP beta, you got to stay close to him to get certain charges. And if you're far away, you get bad charges, which can lead to him sending a different kind of beam your way that can't be reflected. So I'm going to try again right here. And again, it doesn't go well. Like, look, I do everything I can to reflect the beam and it just it does not go well. I cannot do I cannot time that. That's that's such a unique interaction. I don't think anyone else in the game has an interaction like that, but I like it. 
I hope Kabam actually does more fight where we have to reflect things back to the uh, our opponent. That would be so cool. I'll create a champion that can do that, have that ability. But yeah, still it's still very longer phase. We're getting him down slowly but surely. It's just a really long phase. And again, guys, I'm sorry. I just could not master this phase. I mastered the first three phases and it went really well. And the phase four was always the toughest because I made so many mistakes trying this fight out for the first time. Like the first time I did the fight, it went really bad. I didn't even do a dent. Like he, when, when I got beat by this champion the first time, I didn't even do any damage. He literally had 100% health. And I thought I just did not understand it. And then I went in there, got familiar with his abilities and was able to understand the fight. So that's why phase four is probably the hardest for me because it's the phase I probably practiced the least in. But hey, oh well, progress is being made. I have a rank five Valkyrie and we're still doing damage like 5,000. That's not bad. It's a, it's a boss fight. So I guess, you know, it isn't the it isn't going to be the quickest and I've come to terms with that. So I can I can live with that. But as you can see, we're moving on. We're getting closer and closer. I just keep throwing SP2 into his block because it doesn't matter that he's unstoppable. And I'm gonna try again to reflect it. And it just does not go well. I cannot do it. <laughs> I just cannot get reflective beam back to him the way it should be reflected back to him. And it's it irks my soul. It irks me because I know I can master. I just guess I just need more practice. Hopefully when I go into 8.2 today live on stream, I'll be able to do it better. But highly doubt it. So don't <laughs> don't have any high expectations for guys. But we got him down to two percent. I think I'm gonna try one more time to reflect the beam back when I uh, bait out his specials. I'm gonna try right here to try to reflect it back and this it doesn't work but i still wanted to try and it just does not work at this point I, i've already given up i'm literally just like you know what i want to get the fight over let forget forget reflecting the beam back to him let's just get the fight over and move on with life we got our solo that's all that matters to me like he can throw his special all he wants it doesn't matter he couldn't stop valkyrie because she's one of the best champions in the game so still going to hit into his block one more sp2 should do it in my opinion and well actually no we're good fight down and i'm proud so if you did like this video please hit the like button if anyone new here please hit that sub button i'll greatly appreciate it y'all take care have a great and wonderful day